In this tutorial, we are going to work on your upcoming assignment, which means that what I will do on this tutorial, you can uh, refer to to do more or less the same thing in your assignment. Now, the upcoming assignment is um, for you to create um, like a scene using basic shapes um, from what we've covered so far using the brushes, the um, the, the shape tool, the ellipse tool, the rectangle tool, and so forth. Uh, and the colors, obviously, the color panels, the swatches, etc. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to um, do something similar to your assignment, but obviously, you can read the details of your assignment um, on our website and then do exactly what's required, but this is more or less um, how it's going to be. So, I'm going to start by creating this scene, this random scene that I uh, came going to come up with. Let me first of all, I selected the brush tool by hitting B and then I'm going to get rid of this red color for the stroke, uh, for the fill and I will choose um, this blue for the, a bit of a light blue uh, for my stroke. And um, I want to go ahead and draw a cloud in the sky just like that. I haven't released yet. So I'm trying to draw a cloud. There you go. Okay. And the next thing I want to do is um, take this element that I uh, just drew and then um, hit X so that I have the fill color in the foreground. And then I want to select a lighter blue from the color panel. So if uh, you see right here the this uh, rectangular panel where you see the colors, um, the more you go to the top, the lighter the colors. So if I want a very light, almost whitish blue, I would put the eyedropper tool in that area. Okay, so I have this light blue, but I think I still want it to be even lighter. So I'm going to put the cyan a bit down from 46.67% to let's say 22% or so. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for. Now the next thing I want to do is select my uh, object again and I want to play with the, uh, the type of the brush. So right now I have the regular brush but I want a more um, watercolor effect brush. So I'll go under window and then brush libraries um, artistic and I'm going to choose artistic watercolor um, and any of these works so let me choose this one for example alright so this is what I want um, and then I'll click outside so I can also go ahead and uh, hide this panel just by um, clicking on on this um, uh, collapse uh, button or on the X so now when I go to preview by clicking command Y, uh, you can see that my cloud is expanded and we can see all the different parts of that brush effect. Now what I want to do is zoom in and um, I want to actually select the direct selection tool, which is this right arrow tool. Notice that we have this black arrow tool called the selection tool and then next to it we have uh, the direct selection tool which is the white arrow tool. Uh, with experience you will see that there's a huge difference between the two. We can obviously make selections with both but with the white we can directly select so something. So for instance, uh, let me show you the difference. Now I'm on the selection tool and if I click let's say once on this um, dark blue right here, okay? What it does is it's going to select the whole object for me because the whole object is a grouped object. Um, however, I don't want the, all, the whole object. I only want this dark blue part. So what I can do is uh, use the direct selection tool whose uh, shortcut is A. So if I just hit A, it will take me there. And then I will go uh, over this object. Let me zoom in some more. Just go over this object and click once and you can see that it selects only that part, only that uh, darker blue that I'm looking for. Now what I want to do is select all uh, similar blues, actually not similar, all exact same blues 
within this cloud. Uh, we mentioned in a pre previous tutorial that uh, we can do that by going to select and then same fill color and that's it. So now I have um, the selection of all same blues within my uh, current selection. Now uh, I can do something with this, for example change the color. So um, let's say I want to uh, introduce a hint of green within this cloud so I can go ahead and do that. Um, I just did that or maybe some uh, some uh, pink you know or some orange coming from uh, the reflection of the Sun and so forth anything you like. What I want to do now is use the line segment tool the shortcut to that is the backslash key uh, or you just click on uh, the line segment tool on uh, the toolbox. So what I want to do is um, draw lines of rain if you will. So uh, let's pretend it's raining from this cloud. So the way we use this tool is just click once on the artboard and then drag and release. Okay. Now what I got is um, a straight line uh, which is in diagonal because that's how I moved my hand. But I want it to be dashed because um, I want to simulate um, raindrops. So to do that, I want to select um, that line and then go to Window and open the Stroke Panel. Now the Stroke Panel just opened. Um, I will go ahead and click on this thing that, that says Dashed Line. Okay, uh, in the first... Um, uh, tab we can specify the width of each dash and in the second we can specify how much gap we want between each dash. Um, it seems to me that the current options work fine so as you can see if I release now I have this effect uh, that um, 0 0.1 inches of dash and 0 0.2 inches of gap are uh, resulting into uh, and it suits me well for this um, particular design. So what I want to do is just take this uh, line and then hit Alt. You know, you see when I hit hit Alt, you will see um, these two um, uh, triangles next to one another, which means that uh, Illustrator is ready to copy whatever I have selected for me if I just drag and release it. Okay. So now with the Alt key pressed, I want to drag this line out and then release it will copy it for me. I can do the same thing over again uh, hit the Alt key and drag and move it or if you remember um, I can hit Command D the letter D like um, Daniel um, and what it does is D stands for duplicate so it will duplicate exactly the step that I did earlier so that's what I want to do now Command D, Command D, Command D um, so this is what I have. Now I prefer to position these properly so I'm just going to move them manually like so. Okay, the next thing I want to draw is a flower using the brush tool and um, I'll go ahead and draw that. Okay, I got this weird effect because um, I have the dashed line still checked under stroke um, so I need to uncheck that um, and it turns out that I have this brush selected too so that's why I'm getting this effect let's choose another brush maybe this basic shape is what I need okay now uh, this is my flower I want to change its color and give it a nice uh, fill color so let me open the color panel from here and perhaps change this to a nice pink stroke and then add a nice uh, similar uh, pink for the fill. Um, what if I want the same color for the fill as the stroke? What you can do is just uh, take this stroke color, just hover over it, click and drag over the fill and then um, it will give you the same color for the fill. Okay, um, so this is my flower that seems to be upset uh, because of the rain. 
um, these are the petals now let's draw the, the rest so again I'm going to select my um, brush tool and then uh, remove the fill color and just um, change the stroke by hitting X and choosing a nice green from here this works fine um, and then just drawing the rest of the flower like this uh, it's going back to that default uh, brush let me click on it and change it back to basic okay now this is too thin so I want to make it thicker just by going on the stroke and adding some weight so that's fine um, another thing I want to do is draw uh, two leaves so let me go ahead and do that um, this is one and this is another for the leaves actually I do not want any stroke color I just need a fill so what I can do is just um, hit on this swap fill and stroke little arrows if you see right here I'm not going to take the stroke color drag it to the fill because it will um, give me the stroke and the fill the same green uh, in this case I just want to swap so I will have a nice fill uh, green um, the next thing I'd like to do is maybe draw a nice little pond next to the flower by using the ellipse tool if you notice we're covering in the in this assignment all the tools that we already talked about so let me take this ellipse tool and choose a nice blue color uh, before doing that I want to hit X to have the fill in the foreground and then choose a nice turquoise from here and just draw a, a small pond and hit V to be able to select it and position it somewhere here um, and then the last thing I want to draw is some bushes around the pond and this time I'm going to use the blob brush so let me click on that and then change the blue fill to a dark green like this and I'll go ahead and draw my brushes my uh, bushes something in this effect I can also draw a small sun hiding behind the cloud as you can see this is very um, you know basic and we're just practicing the basic tools the basic shapes we covered so uh, by no means is this fantastically artistic but for now it's just a practice of um, using the basic illustrator tools okay so um, I'm taking the ellipse tool again and I will uh, make sure to remove the stroke color and then choose a nice yellow for the fill okay and then draw the Sun which I want to make a full circle now if I drag my my hand downwards it's going to become an ellipse but remember if I hold the shift key it will become a full circle which is what I want so this is my Sun I want to hide it behind the clouds how do I do that um, let me place it right here since I do it next it's going to go over the cloud but if I want it behind the cloud what do I do um, I can go to object um, arrange send to back so that's my cloud hiding behind the uh, it's my my son hiding behind the cloud the nice thing about the transparency of the cloud though is we can see through a bit and see the edges of the Sun which is really a nice effect um, I'd also like to add some small tiny stars in the sky so let's do that let's click on the ellipse tool and hold 
and then this panel opens I will choose the star tool and again choose a very light blue just like this perhaps even lighter I can drag the cyan a bit down and then just draw uh, small stars in the sky this will be ideal for a little girl's uh, bedroom poster something like that 